How's everybody doing today? Ah, it's a beautiful day. Ah. Hope you're all having a, an awesome day today. And uh, we're going to uh, do some great things. Today we're going to fix the, uh, the disconnected golf swing. Let's go. Uh, thanks for tuning in, by the way. Appreciate all the support. And make sure you go ahead and uh, smash that like button. Also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything. <sighs> Have you ever ever had a swing where everything just felt awkward and disconnected. Kind of like how my swing feels right now. And consequently, I'm all over the planet. I was actually trying to hit that one good. <laughs> Anyways, what is the cause of this and how do we fix it? We're going to jump into that right away. Let's go. Okay, so for starters, if you want to fix the disconnected golf swing, you have to understand what's causing the disconnection. And once we know that, then we can start to, to hit some better shots. But so many times what we do is we just grab the, the driver and we try to get connection. We put stuff under our arms. We do all this little stuff and we, those help, but there's a better way to tackle the issue of disconnection. So, disconnection. Disconnection, we want consistency and connection. So what's causing it? Well, typically what's causing the disconnection and we all do it is this, it's very simple. What happens is too many things are moving. When, the, when you have more stuff moving, more, there's a more potential for everything to get uh, disconnected with one another. And they lose uh, their relationship with one another. Okay, so for example, what happens is your hands move too much, okay? your hands and it, but it won't just be your hands. It'll be your hands are moving too much. Your hips are moving too much. Your body is moving too much. Okay. So you got your hands moving, your hips moving a lot too much. You're swaying off the ball. Everything's moving. So we have to get things uh, moving a lot less in order to get your connection back in your swing. So how do we do that? Okay, here is how we do that. First thing is you've got to put the driver away. Take, get rid of that. And grab a wedge. This is a 54 degree wedge, okay? Because this is how we're going to start tackling the issue here. So here's what we have to do. Step one is this. We're going to work on our hands first. So typically when you are disconnected, your hands are moving too much. You're rotating. And when you rotate, the, they fly away from your body. A lot of things happen. So we're going to do the opposite of too much hands. We're going to do not no hands. We're going to do the opposite of what your hands are doing. So if your hands are rotating open, we're going to rotate them shut. Okay. This is a drill. Remember that. And we're slowly going to correct things so we can go hit our driver. So I'm going to hit this little shot where I'm rotating my hands in the opposite direction that they normally go. That's the only way you can fix anything is to not, not do it, but to do the opposite of doing it. So 
we're going to hit little shots where I'm rotating my hands this way, the opposite direction. So shut as I take it back, shut. And I'm only going to go to about here and hit these little shots right there with the wedge. Okay. So rotate them shut and hit that little shot right there. That's all I want. Okay. I'm just rotating it shut and hitting that little guy right there. So that's step one, rotate those hands shut, half a swing, just go to about uh, parallel here to the ground, just right there. And you're just going to do that. Okay. Rotate it shut right there. That's all we want. These little shots. Okay. Do that a few times. Okay. Right in there. Perfect. What is the second piece to this? So that first step takes care of, let's say your hands and your arms, cause you're going to rotate everything down. And what that's going to do is prevent you from doing this. And it's going to rotate your club shut. And that alone is going to help keep your arms connected to your chest. Okay. Cause it, when you rotate out, they go away. When you rotate in, it just naturally keeps that arm tight to your chest. So you don't have to put a towel or anything under your arms. That does the trick itself. Just do the opposite. Okay. And rotate shut. Step two is this. We're going to take care of the hips. So you are turning your hips too much which does a lot of bad things. So we need to do the opposite of that. What's the opposite of this? This. So as we do this, I'm thinking about turning my hips that way. It's weird, but you're going to rotate and just keep your hip moving that direction the whole time. And this is why you do it with a short swing, a little, a little guy. So I'm still keeping this rotating in and, and I'm turning my hips the opposite direction as we go. Make sense? So you're doing two things now. You might not do it. It doesn't matter if you do it or you don't do it. What matters is that you feel it. And that's the key. Okay. Right there. And I'll tell you what, you're going to start. This is the bonus. Your short game is going to improve dramatically just by doing these little drills. So rotate in, right there. Just copy that move. We're doing short little swings. I'm hitting these 30 yards. Okay. It's a 30 yard pitch shot. Rotate in, rotate forward right there. 54 degree wedge. That's it. And th th that was one inch right on my target. Like it's pretty good. If you can do that, rotate in right there. Where'd that go? Two feet, right? Okay. You're getting the feeling of the opposite of disconnection is going to equal the uh, connection. And that's your second piece. Uh, there's one more, there's one more that's going to bring it home and then it will all come together. Okay. So the last piece of this, before we really bring it home, hit driver again and see if any of this even worked, it'll work. Trust me. Okay. Is this, so we've got the hands, the hands and arms work in one, one drill. So that's great. We've got the hips. So we're turning these this way. The last piece is going to be our weight. Uh, so many times we, we, we transfer our weight back. So a lot of that will be self-corrected in your hip portion of this, but we want to just nail it home and make sure that our weight isn't uh, moving outside of our back foot and our back knee. So as we take that little swing, okay, our hips are moving forward. I want our weight to be going forward as well. So you're doing this, your hips are here and your weight. I want you really on the inside of this back foot. Uh, you can do that by just rotating on the inside of that back foot. You could pinch your knees in is another way to accomplish this, this, or just really feel like your weight is on the left side of your 
um, your hip. Like you feel the, the bulk of the weight, like something pulling this this way here on the hip level. Okay, that's, those are ways to accomplish this. I like to pinch my knees in and feel like someone's pulling that left hip forward as I do this. So I'm doing all three here. And as you do this last piece of the drill, okay, I don't want you to do all of these at once. I want you to do the first one with your hands, then do number one and number two together, then number one, two, and three together, okay? And uh, if, if, it's, if you're having trouble doing all three of them, then do the first one, do the second one alone, do the third one alone, and then start adding them together uh, so that you can do all three at the same time. And as you're doing the third one, I want this short swing back here, okay? And I want you to start finishing your swing up here and hold this full finish up on your toe, your tippy toe, okay? I don't want the ball to go more than like 30 yards. Okay, and just finish the swing up here. Okay, that's what you want. What was that, 33 yards. That's great, okay. One foot right on my target. That's where it should be. Like everything should be in here. And finish the swing. Finishing the swing is going to be pretty important, okay. And not finishing it by whoa, whipping through it. Short here. Just nice and controlled finish, all right? The more you could practice that, the better off you're gonna be in the long run, right in here, okay? Just keep doing that. Really control, no more than 30 yards. Let's say you're at the range, you're here, just right there, let it finish, okay? The more you can work on that perfect balance finish, the better. So anytime you're doing a drill, if you can get to the finish, it's just, it's like extra credit, bonus stuff. You're really going to get even more than you bargained for. So I'm doing everything. I'm rotating the hands in. I'm rotating the hips forward. I'm, turn, I, I'm leaning on that left side a lot more than normal. Remember, it's the opposite. You really want to exaggerate these little pieces. There you go. Okay, so we're gonna do like a thousand of those, okay? If you have a net, it's free. If you're at the short game area, it's virtual, virtually free. Wherever you are, in your yard, whatever you got, that's your drill. Those are your keys to getting a connected swing, getting it back. And let's say you're at the golf course, you're about to play, and you're all disconnected at the range, you're gonna spend, go take the rest of your balls, walk over to the short game area, or just sit right there at the range. This is gonna serve you better to hit your balls 30 yards at the range than 300 yards all over the planet. Get connected here, okay? Whatever it is, it's more important than full swing driver because it's going to pay off when you hit the golf course. All right, now we're connected. Uh, we did the drill. We spent a lot of time working on that. Now, here we go. We got the big dog. Here's the key though. This is very important. When you get the driver, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna set up that first part. There's a reason we only went this far on all of our practicing. That's because we really have to hammer home this first part of the golf swing. That's where it all Everything relies on that, okay? If you're disconnected here, you're gonna be, it's gonna be a mess, okay? So that's why we only went here. So I want you to feel everything you just felt with the wedge, I want you to feel it right in here. The rest of it will take care of itself. That will, you've set the wheels in motion here. Now you just let it finish and you do your thing and you're gonna be fine, okay? So we've got the connection early. You either have connection or you don't. You don't start disconnected and get connected. You don't start connected and get disconnected. Once you start it off, you're good to go. You're connected for the rest of the swing. You're just holding on right now. So now I've got the connection piece done. So I just do that same thing and feel it right in here. The rest of it will take care of itself. We'll be connected, we'll hit every fairway. Well, 
We'll see. So those are so much better, more consistent, more club head speed, and just a better uh, balance throughout the shot. And ultimately, that's what you're looking for, is just more consistency. As you get disconnected, things start going every which way, but straight. So we've gotta figure out how to get it all together so we can get more fairways. More consistency is really what we're looking for. So, Give that a try, that little drill where you're doing the opposite of those pieces with your wrists, your hips, and your weight. And comment below, let me know if it's helping you get more connection with the club, especially as you get in the longer clubs, but you have to do the drill with the, uh, the wedge or shorter clubs and work into it. And uh, you're off to a good start, that's for sure. And you'll start feeling your swing more than you ever have before. <sighs> this is gonna help, this helps. This helps me get back on track when I'm feeling off. So I believe it's a benefit, beneficial thing for everybody to do. Love you guys, good luck out there. See you in the next video. These balls roll under, they go under. Where'd they go? Oh, there they go. That was a good one.